Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another story time Saturday. I am especially excited for this story time because this is going to be more of the story time about how I became who I am today. And this is all going to start with how I became friends with the people I'm already friends with. So as you guys know, I am in 8th grade right now, and I lost a lot of friends during the transition from elementary school, which for me is kindergarten through 6th grade, so I lost a lot of friends, at least 5 or 6, which is about all I had, between the transitions of 6th grade and 7th grade. And it really, really sucked, because I was going into middle school with almost no friends, and no one who liked me, and it was definitely really scary for me, but really quickly, I made new friends, um, I have my friends Amaya, JJ, Audrey, Nicole, Lynn, um, Ariana, Talon, Emily, Rachel, <laughs> Amira, um, my other Emily, <laughs> um, my friend David and my other friend Nathan, my friend Mia, <laughs> I have so many friends now. So, Amira is kind of a new addition to my friend group, um, actually, she's one grade below me, so she's in seventh grade right now, but she was... Ariana's boyfriend's sister and she's amazing she's the most helpful person I have ever met in my life <laughs> um yesterday during school I had just kind of had this like mental breakdown moment where stress of just school and everything had gotten to me and I just started bawling my eyes out so I had that and she looked at me and said, if you ever start crying again, come and get me so I can beat up school. <laughs> I mean, I know she was joking, but the, the, the meaning was there and I understood what she was trying to say. If you hear my dogs barking, it's because somebody's here. Hey, Zozo, come here. You wanna come say hi to the video? You wanna come say hi to the motivators? Come here. Everyone say hi to Zoe. She's my one-eyed fake corgi. <laughs> She's going to join us for the rest of the video since someone's here and she doesn't like being alone <laughs> when someone is here. Someone that she doesn't know, at least. So, I started making my friends the moment I stepped into middle school. I had friends that were in my connections class, which is basically homeroom for us. And... Immediately, I just knew I was going to have so many friends. I was I knew I was going to have at least 10, and now I have, like, maybe 15. I don't know. I'll have to go back and count. Oh. So, I started making my friends the first day of school, especially in art class, when we were assigned tables. I was assigned tables with three other people. My friend Amaya, my friend Emma, and my friend Abby. Friend. We don't really talk, but we kind of consider ourselves more acquaintances. And little did I know that the people I was sitting with were going to have such a major impact on my life in both good and bad ways. Hey, you're fine. So, I knew immediately that we were going to be friends. I didn't know we were going to be best friends or enemies actually I thought I was gonna hate some of the people that I was sitting with but my first impressions of the people I was sitting with was okay Amaya's this really emo shy chick <laughs> Emma's this really hi how are you how are you how are you <gasps> I want you to be my I want you to be my friend kind of girl and then Abby was just this kind of loner she didn't really like to do anything but read it was, kind of, it was kind of interesting to kind of figure out and decipher all of the different personalities. Um, Talon actually introduced me to Ariana. 
Talon had been my friend for two-ish years, maybe a year and a half. And um, she had kind of stuck with me through the transition. But we didn't really get to see each other a whole lot since we were in different classes. And it kind of sucked, but it did also get me that little push to go and make friends of my own that weren't already Talon's friends. <sighs> Talon is this really peppy girl who loves everyone and wants everyone to just be happy. <laughs> She wanted everyone to wear a smile on their face 24-7. And that's why she was my best, best, best friend. So, I mean, I guess in a way, things did change. Her po her personality des definitely have changed. Has... <laughs> has changed since sixth grade and the beginning of seventh. She's definitely become more secluded and more distant, but not to the point where everyone's worried about her, where she's just kind of her own person. She's definitely getting more independent, along with Ariana. Ariana was this peppy girl. She still is. She's still really, really peppy, but... We knew immediately that we were going to be friends. In fact, as we remember, our first words to each other were, Hi, you want to be friends? Sure. And then we walked away from Talon. So Talon had just introduced us and we were like, Hey, you want to be friends? We said, sure. And then walked away from the person who just introduced us to each other. So that's how me and Ariana became friends. And everyone else just kind of came with, Amaya and Talon and Ariana, everyone just kind of followed. It was definitely an experience. Um, Lynn was a new kid at our school, and she was immediately my best friend. Um, we had tons of sleepovers, and we fought like every friends do. Every group of friend, every two friends do. We fought. We had our differences. We fought, and we got over it. And now I definitely do have more friends than what I've listed off, but they're not my really, really close, close, close friends. The friends that I listed off, I tell everything to. <laughs> so I have a lot of secrets with these people, and I know that in the end, if we do stop being friends, the, the secret's going to be fine because I trust these people. And if I didn't, I never would have told them in the first place. But I do, I trust them a lot. I would trust them with my life. But, yeah, guys, that's my story time for this Saturday. Um, I'm still current friends with these people. Um, they are my whole life right now. <laughs> um, I'm really sad. I'm going to be leaving Amira this year. The, in about two months, I'm going to be leaving my newest best friend. <laughs> and it's really, 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 really going to suck, but we're gonna stay in contact anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this story time saturday if you did go ahead and drop a like subscribe turn on my post notifications to get notified every time i upload a video and don't forget to comment down below what you want to see in next story time saturday it can be anything of your choosing as long as i can actually do it and if you if I decide to do your story time, I will give you a shout out and a I will put your channel link in the description, which reminds me, go ahead and go down to the description and check out my socials and the previous story time Saturday. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, stay motivated. And remember that if anyone tries to break down your wall, break them first. <laughs> no, that's not it. But just remember to keep a smile on your face and remember you are always going to be beautiful. And until next story time, goodbye.